Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and I'm standing outside one of my properties I've had for a little while now, but I've never been able to show the inside of any of it because it's always been rented. And we have one unit back there that is now vacant. We can show you that. It's actually my first time seeing it today as well. And we had a tenant in there who just caused a whole lot of problems. She always paid rent, but she caused a lot of other problems. And we're actually trying to sell this property for a little while. I know it needs a little bit of work, but uh, it is pretty valuable where it's at. And she is just making it very difficult trying to sell the property. So it is vacant. We did not have to do an eviction or anything crazy. And we'll show you inside here and um, talk a little bit about this property because it is very unique in that as you can see, um, there's some houses around here, but there's also industrial and commercial all around it. And this property is actually zoned industrial, which is good and bad. So, um, this front house and garage are rented to um, a family for, I think we're at, is it 1650 now? I can't remember exactly, but they actually can run a trucking business out of it. And they're always repairing trucks and different things on here because it's zoned industrial. So that's one massive benefit to having the property as industrial. And then we have that second unit back there. And that's another advantage to it being zoned industrial. So you can have multiple units and different things. And the tricky part is because they're residential, um, you're not supposed to have residential on industrial properties, but they're grandfathered in where they've been used as residential for so long, it's okay to keep living in them. And we'll also talk about financing because there are a few people who are thinking about buying this to live in and how that works with industrial as well. Um, now this one we have do we replace the furnace? Yes, I think we replaced the furnace on this one. Did some work in there. As you can see, the outside needs a little bit of work, but they're fine with it. Um, they have lots of stuff out and about all the time, <laughs> so we haven't done too much to the outside there. And then this one comes with a shed, and I think it used to be a garage, as you can tell. It was converted to a house who knows how long ago, but it's got separate gas meters, um, separate electrical meters. It's actually set up very well as a two-unit property. And I paid 275000 for this back in 2021, the end of 2021. And it was all rented back then, had tenants in there for over a year. And then we had issues with this one and this tenant um, the whole time. And so basically the tenant had called us, stopped into the office every month at least, telling us about different problems and different issues with the property and how it was causing her problems. And not like, you know, there's a leak or the hot water isn't working. Problems like, oh, the electrical system is causing me to get um, nerve problems or the water is tainted and bad and is causing me to have numbness. Like she thought like every single thing in the property was giving her health problems and she even had the water tested and had Excel, the electric company, come out here. And they all said everything was fine, there's no problems, there's no issues, and it just over and over again, she would leave five to 10 minute long messages on her voicemails, come in and talk for 20 minutes about these different things. And um, it, it got pretty ridiculous. And um, her family, her kids actually came in and apologized a couple times and said that um, she can you know, be a little difficult to work with and we're, we tried talking to her and telling her to stop bothering people because it has happened before where she's not been able to rent places because she keeps doing these same things over and over again. And then it got to the point where we, um, like I said, we're going to sell the property. Um, it wasn't, it's not my favorite property. It's fine, but, um, not my favorite. And, uh, it's probably worth close to $400,000 now. If we got a good tenant here, fix this place up a little bit. We had lots of showings, lots of people looking at it, but, um, she kept denying showing. She'd tell us when we could show it, how showings would work. We'd do that. Then she'd cancel them, not let people in. Um, she accused agents of drugging her food, of coming in here and drugging her food and causing her problems. She accused agents of drugging her shampoo and causing her problems. And then she canceled all showings and everything. And just over and over again, this stuff just kept happening. And so her lease was month to month. Um, and at this point in Colorado, we can, you know, terminate a lease 
because it's up, they're trying to change those rules and make it so you have a no cause, you can't have a no cause eviction, which means if people are paying rent and in the property, it doesn't matter if their lease is up, they still get to stay. They're trying to change a lot of laws in Colorado. And I think I'll do a video on that here soon. But for right now, <laughs> we can still um, evict people, cancel the lease. But we told her, hey, we're ending your lease. We gave her plenty of notice. And um, she said, then at that point, she you know, said she's sorry, she won't do anything, she'll allow showing, she didn't mean all that stuff. And, and we'd warned her before multiple times. And um, we said, no, sorry, um, this is just, there's been enough of this stuff. So she left, um, no issues, no problems. Um, she said she's gonna be out the, before March and then that you know turned into a couple weeks later, but she's out. Now we can kind of do a light remodel on this place, get it rented again, and then we'll decide if we wanna sell it or not. So um, I didn't disclose all the crazy things that happened with that tenant, but quite a few to give you an idea of how it, it went. And um, so as you can see, it is very basic not very big, but it's not in horrible shape. She did a great job cleaning, getting all her stuff out, no damage, so that's awesome. That was great. And of course, she'll get her deposit back, no problem there. The kitchen is a complete mess. Um, I had, you know, we've had contractors in here and people checking it. I just have never been in here personally. So we'll redo this kitchen. Um, don't know if you can configure it much better. I don't know why these are so far out here like that, but they are. And um, the bathroom is crazy, as you can see. You've got your toilet and sink in one room and your shower in the closet, and there's your furnace. But Nikki and I were just talking, we might be able to just turn that around, open up that wall, and put in another wall or two here, and have a shower that actually attaches to your bathroom, which I think would be much better. So a pretty simple fix, hopefully, depending on the plumbing there. So we can do a couple of things to just make this much better. And it actually has, you can see a little door to the outside, a little yard back here. It's not too bad. I mean, there's no grass or anything, but it's got a nice little fenced yard. I know she had a dog and, um, you know, getting a, a detached little house like this with a fenced yard and pretty private except for the family up there is pretty tough to find so she had paid 900 for it and um i doubt we could get much more than that maybe but it is a one bedroom um we got 950 for the studio at the complex which was much smaller less private um but maybe i don't know if that's a better location or not than here this is a much more private location so i mean it's possible that we could get a little more than 900 for it as well so once we do that, I don't know if I showed the shed. The shed isn't bad either. And then lots of parking as well. So that's another bonus. So this one might, you know, the more I think about it, I think we can rent it for more than that because I don't think the front house uses any of this parking back here. And she had a few vehicles and stuff she's actually storing for other people. So with all this parking, we could definitely probably get more. Or maybe we just put up another house right there. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll try and sell it again or not. <laughs> we'll see. And then um, that house, I haven't seen this angle of the house before. It needs a little bit of love right there. And the inside isn't bad on that one either. The outside actually looks worse than the inside. Roof is good. You can see that. Mechanicals are good. But, you know, really putting the plastic on the windows really makes it look junky. But, um, and the junk, of course. <laughs> so um, here's this property. I can tell you 100% my staff and the people in my office are so happy. They hopefully never have to talk to her again because it was ridiculous. So um, there we go. And we'll have an update on this. We'll show you what we do to it, um, what work we do to it. Of course, paint needs some flooring. I don't think that's a good idea to have your flooring a half inch above the other flooring. <laughs> and um, windows are newer as you can see doors are that door is okay so it should be pretty quick and easy and um, along with this we'll have updates on other flips other rentals businesses all that great stuff as well and um, so yeah not all tenants end in eviction and all that stuff we've had some bad issues like that in the past but for the most part we can move on and, and move 
to new tenants without all the drama we've had recently. All right, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares, keep those coming, and um, talk to you soon.